All right, guys, today we are a horse rancher, and we are going to go sell all of our horses. So now we have eight horses, including Clarence. I don't know. Should I, I don't think I should sell Clarence. I should probably keep them and just sell the, the other seven. But so all of our horses are 100%. Uh, I think it's the skill attribute. They all have 100% skill, I think it is, or um, training. No, 100% training. So they are ready to go, ready to go up market at patterson livestock yard and so we're gonna go pick up yeah okay we're gonna leave clarence i was i feel like some people are gonna be mad at me for even thinking about taking clarence and going to sell him but we're, we're gonna keep clarence here so let's go we're gonna take lightning butt liquor bullet lucky not clarence thunder ricky bobby and leroy oh it only holds six okay so it only holds six we'll come back in maybe we'll leave uh here, you know what? Let's. I. I don't, I'm not a big fan of Leroy. What we're gonna do? All right, we're gonna keep Butlicker here, and then we're gonna take Leroy back. Oh, I think I need to press space confirm, and then space confirm. Okay, so we have six horses in here. Each of them is. They're just a just a hair shy of fifty thousand dollars, guys. So welcome back to the farm. Welcome back to Honeydew Farms. Now. I believe this is episode 25 or 24. Actually, not sure. I'll, I'll have it in the thumbnail. But welcome, welcome back. And things are going really good. So we have horses. Oh, I guess here's our chickens and our wool as well. Wool is coming along. <laughs> and our sheep. And wool is coming along very well. And then look at over here. So here's some, what I'm trying to do. I'm going to save up all my wool. I actually have a truck full down there. Save up all the wool. And then I'm going to save up all the chicken boxes as well. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to save up like... A gazillion and then like next this upcoming weekend i'm gonna sell them all it's gonna be really cool actually i don't know why why they aren't producing more uh they're they're a little dirty but they have everything i feel like and they're reproducing really fast too they're gonna be full really soon so i i did get 32 roosters so they, they should be reproducing pretty quick anyway we're a rancher we got our horses and yeah i Oh, by the way, I did pick up the low profile 6.7 liter power stroke F450. There she is, boys. I guess I should probably turn up my audio so the Ford fans can hear. All right. So, yeah, I kind of feel I was trying to I was trying to figure out what is the best color. I in my opinion, I think a Dodge is is more of a a horse just like when you see something pulling like a horse trailer you you at least i associate it with dodge like maybe the majority of the time i see a dodge anyway it doesn't really matter but i just tried to i tried to get a truck that i felt like would be would, would suit this really well i was gonna get the 1500 ram but obviously it's just the 1500 we need something bigger we needed the power stroke we needed the uh we need the 450 we need the the tonnage with that as well so we're gonna go ahead up north to the animal dealer and we're gonna get really really good money for this guys this is horses are like they're pretty easy the only problem with horses is that you have to ride them every day now if you get on all time it's not a big deal or if you have a lot of people helping you like five or six that's not a big deal either but what we have is the horse helper the best thing in the world so it's, it's just a mod it's on mod hub and you get it in there and then i think it's like 500 bucks per horse a night and then they automatically get trained so you don't have to ride them it is it is pretty time consuming in my opinion just one horse once they get so good like beyond 50 percent training it takes like a good solid like 10 minutes per horse and i didn't have the time i wasn't gonna mess with it we have so much going on at the farm so we just had the horse helper and this is actually my first time ever selling horses because yeah, all my other farms got destroyed before I could uh, get my horses done. Or I was, like, like I said, I didn't have time to train them. And they weren't 100%. And I'm not going to sell them if they aren't 100%. So I'm going to have to say goodbye to Lightning, Ricky, Bobby, all the boys in here. I feel so bad. I'm going to, they're going to go to a better place, guys. Don't worry about it. Ricky, Bobby, see you on the other side. Thunder, Lucky, Bullet, Lightning, and Leroy. All right, boys. See you on the other side. We got 300K. Let's go. We got $300,000. Super, super good haul. I might as well. Should we just buy six? Yeah, we should probably just buy like six more horses. And then these will be training as well. And then before you know it, we're going to have another 300,000. So 
Where am I looking? We got uh horses here. Oh no, that's that's Clarence. We can't we can't have another Clarence. No. Uh all right, there we go. Okay, so we're gonna get six more horses. Uh there we go. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Space to confirm. There we go. So that so if you think about it, we made so that six six horses cost thirty thousand dollars. And we sold it for 300000 So we made 10 times our money. But I guess I'm not taking into account the time that we spent. Along with all the uh, all the food that... All the oats. All the food that they ate. All the water that they drank. And the time that they took up. And everything. but And all the straw. But if you think about it. We spent 30000 And actually it only... With Horse Helper. It only takes 10 days. You can make 300000 In my opinion. Horses are probably the most profitable. Because I don't know any other... I guess I haven't done pigs... Or, excuse me. I haven't done cows in FS19 yet. But what what animal can you do that gives you 10x your return in 10 days? Like, that's that's absolutely crazy. I mean, yeah. Once... They double in value every single day. So, it's, uh, it's kind of a no-brainer when it comes to horses. Like, I, on my farms, I'm always going to have horses because they're awesome. They're cool. And they make you really good money. I don't know. I feel like that's... Let me know what you guys think. What are what is the best livestock animal for making money? And then what's your favorite? And then what's your guys' best way of making money on FS19? Because in my opinion, cotton is probably the best crop uh, if you have time. And then because people are always like, you know, chickens make so much money. Although chickens are easy and sheep are easy. Uh, once you have horse helper, in my opinion, I think sheep are almost the easiest. Wait, wasn't that? Wasn't that just one of these, but we left, and now it's that? I guess I can't remember. But yes, the sheep are doing good, too. They reproduce super slow. That's the only problem. Is, yeah, look, I don't even think this guy in nine hours will have a new one. 15, 20, 15 here. Uh, they might need some more grass and hay. We, we should probably clean them up. Let me jump into 1455. Where's she at? We'll clean up the place real quick. So chickens are in sheep are at 100% productivity, which is the most important and it's so easy to clean them, too. Oops. All right, there we go. Again, guys, I'm on here with nobody on. We did get trolled by the squad a little bit ago. Make sure you go check out that video if you didn't already. We had to clean it all up. And uh, we're going to be getting them back. We Don't worry, guys. We're going to be getting them back. I'll probably run over there sometime today and kind of show you guys this farm. And I, I have a few plans. All right, so there we go. We're going to go ahead back up here. I need you to do f more first person, but I, I enjoy doing first person in the 1455 because it's so small, compact. Like, if I just look down here, I can actually, like, see the tires. Insane visibility. And I just like doing it with, you know, like a like a work tractor. It's pretty fun. And I feel like I'm more... I don't know. It, it might just be a little more realistic. I don't know. Because the truck... I guess I can see pretty good, but still, it, it's pretty hard to drive this, especially with my trailer, and make sure I'm not going on the lines, going on the other side of the road, stuff like that. You just really can't see what's going on too well. Yeah, like the mirror takes up, yeah, the, the rear view mirror literally takes up half the windshield, which is, obviously, it's, it's a mod, it's not gonna be the best thing in the world but i think it looks really good okay so here's a ram 3500 too we need to sell that wool sometime i think i'm gonna sell it tomorrow prices are going up i guess i'll pretty much just have to wait for prices to go up and then we'll go ahead sell the wool down at the spinnery it's yeah prices are not good for cotton or wool right now at the spinnery so we have our work cut out for us all right so the main objective today was to was to sell that i guess i could go sell leroy but Wait. Don't I have horses in here? Oh, yeah. I, I didn't even take these over. I still have six horses in here. What am I doing? What if I just left them in there and they all died? That would be so bad. No, that would be... Up. They're just sitting in here. I, I don't even hear them neighing or hauling, yelling. and Oh, that would be so bad. Okay, we need to... I should probably drive a little extra slow, too. 
All right, so let's go. One thing about the horses, it's pretty nice that they don't get dirty. You don't have to come just like you guys saw me clean up the chickens and the sheep. It's not a lot of work, but just something where you don't have to do a lot. All right, so they are worth, you know, roughly 3,000 now. Soon they'll be worth 50,000 just like Clarence is. Confirm. And there we are. We got a whole new set of horses. I should probably, I guess, what are their in-game names? It's always curious to see what the game names them. Duke, that's, I like that name. Not going to try and pronounce that. We have Velvet, Temper, Zach, Winston. I feel like that. there's always one name, Winston. Then Butlicker and Clarence. I wonder if it's just an auto name. Just a random name generator. All right, let's go put the old Silver Star back. And we'll go park over here by our... Wait, is this Silver Star? Yeah, it is. I thought that one... I think they're both Silver Stars. I think so. Yeah, they're both Wilson trailers. I'm not big in trailers, guys. I'm just trying to figure this out. So we're going to go ahead. <clears throat> drive over here. So we have... We still are kind of planning. We're still spreading a bit of lime. All of our plowing is done. And so I'm probably going to continue that. A decent amount of work left before we're ready to harvest. I'm not going to harvest anything until we are fully done with everything. All right, we'll drop that off there. We go park our pick-me-up truck. But boys, we got fields of cotton once again. Oh, yeah, I need to always show you guys how is it coming. So we are in, we got 20, uh, 2.4 million dollars. Uh, sheriff's office, 2.6. That doesn't matter at all because it's the sheriff's office and that's not a team so we're looking here master's got 100k tired bogs got 200k uh squad's farm isn't even farm anymore but yeah he doesn't i don't think he does anything on it no i don't think so okay so we're gonna i'm gonna go park this and then the bottom of the field down here we have work to do and work to do here as well so continue planning continue spreading lime continue working and i'll see you when we're down there all right, guys, so we're just out here. We're going to be planting some more corn in this field just north of our bottom field there, which is all corn. So half this field is wheat. The other, that field right over there that I'm looking at is wheat as well. And we didn't need this much wheat, so I was like, you know what? Let's split it up. We do need quite a bit of corn. That's pretty important. Um, so, yeah, yeah, we're just going to keep finishing off corn. We got the, we got lime going here. Very good. We have fertilizer going here. Even better. And one thing that I didn't know is like if you put fertilizer in like these are meant to be like fertilizer spreaders uh, Like it lasts forever. I've had this thing running this, these this isn't like a pretty bad setup like it's It spreads it pretty Good, uh, and it holds a lot more than the Rubicon. I think Rubicon only holds 9,000 this holds like 19,000 so that is super nice and then the lime the only the lime is very frustrating sometimes it takes forever it costs a lot of money one it doesn't spread very good like it spreads as much as a fertilizer but look i started this after the fertilizer and we're one third is left so that's a big bummer and unfortunately you can't trans or i guess here i got my seed in here too so if we run out i don't think we will uh in our john deere planner here but if we do i do have that there as well Rubicon is locked and loaded. She's full waiting on site. So yeah, we're kind of uh, letting the workers run and I'm kind of I guess you say I'm the manager of the farm if that's a thing I guess we are farm manager. That's our role uh, I'll make sure to get out of the way. Wait, what is he doing? What is he? Please tell me you're backing up buddy Here I'll dismiss him and then I will do it myself so I get him set up. Yeah, I don't think he was gonna make that turn uh, I guess I haven't watched him do it with this big planner, but yeah One thing I didn't notice about the planner is it it actually has tracks it has tracks underneath uh, The fertilizer and seed tanks, but and then wheels on the outside for the rows, but pretty pretty cool stuff There we go and hire the worker So there we are we we should be able to knock this out like what, what do you think three three more passes and then, yeah, things are going pretty good. So when this guy is done, we'll probably, uh, here, I'll dismiss the worker and do the rest for myself so I don't waste any money. It's not too big a deal. Again, we have two point, like $4 million now, so I guess we dropped down to 2.3 technically. Uh, 
because we spent some on like lime and stuff but things are going pretty good so we only did lime on this field this field in this field but uh next next planning season we'll take i guess yeah next planning season we'll take this one this one this one this one so we have a lot of work like i feel like we've been doing lime forever and if you think about it we really have like nothing done uh in terms of the grand scheme of things lime is is fairly annoying so that is the move it looks like these guys are good on lime these guys too i i don't think there's another way to to spread lime and then yes yeah, so like i was saying cotton's really low wool is really low we can't really sell our highest commodity i guess we have great demand here but it's still not even that good 111 is decent but nothing special so there we are yeah nothing crazy going on in prices i think we will i mean after we sold we don't really need to sell anything that was pretty good that we sold uh the the horses there that was really nice i'm excited to sell all the wool and i'm excited to sell all the eggs in a week from now i think that's i'm gonna save everything up and then i'm gonna go sell it and i'm just curious after a week how profitable are chickens and sheep that's everybody's like yo sports tv you 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 need to do chickens like super important uh and i'm like uh i've done them before like i only got like five thousand off of you know but i think that was only a day or two so i'm curious to see you know can we make 100k off chickens in in a week uh, that would be not as good as horses but close because i didn't i didn't really do anything besides and i like how like they're actually like the boxes so we're gonna go take care of that too that will be uh that'll be a lot of fun oh is it gonna run out? is it gonna run out before we no it ran out right at the end there so i'm gonna go ahead build this bad boy up still planting finishing up that over there planting uh i sorry we did finish planting down there i guess here let me show you exactly what i what we have left if you guys are confused finishing up this field here done here we're spreading fertilizer and then we will plant this field of cotton as well which we're first i gotta spread lime and we are not even halfway so that's that's fun and i i want two going at once but again i still have to drum down here i tried to put them in the auger wagon somebody's like yo spencer you can put them in the auger wagon i did and then it wouldn't unload into the fertilizer spreader like it went into the into the wagon but not into my fertilizer spreader which is a big problem because that's kind of what i need it for what we could do what we could do is we could get a bunch of these bags which i totally understand like i guess the shops are there too but uh no we actually could do that I might do that. I might as well just, but it takes forever to load it up too. I, what I might do, what I might do is just plant, or sorry, not plant. How much are those? Let's look, guys. We have so much money. One of the most annoying things right now is absolutely these limes, or uh, these lime stations. How much was this? It's only $5,000? Heck yeah, I'm going to go do this. Okay, so where am I at? We're doing this field. Okay, so I'm going to put one. Oh, I don't want to put it in the middle of the road. Where should I put it? Maybe I should put it in the middle of the road. I feel like. Okay, yeah, let's actually. Let's do this. This is this is going to be such a good idea. So what I'm going to do is this one is going to take care of. These two fields. Um, this one is gonna, yeah, I'm gonna put it in between because when we go, when we have the hired workers, they're gonna accidentally run into them. Super important that that does not happen. We'll have this one take care of all these three. Boom. And then I think we are good. Maybe I'll place one like right here i uh, guys again they're only five thousand dollars i know i'm kind of throwing these around like the you know they're candy but still where it's not that big of a deal and then i'll put one right here as well so there we are okay this is uh this is exciting this is this is my I, yeah we we spent sure we spent 25k but come on we just made three hundred thousand on horses and again I'm not a big fan of lime. I don't know who it, who is. It was pretty cool that we had it at the beginning, but after, it's a lot. I wish there was a better way to spread it. I'm sure there's going to be a mod where, you know, you can put it inside of the Rubicon. 
if we could put lime, lime inside the Rubicon and it wouldn't run out quick, I'm all in, all for it. That is awesome. Okay, it's pretty cool that we have our lime stations out there now. I'm happy. I, it was totally worth it for me. So we're going to go head down here, keep her moving. Um, And then our fertilizer spreader, she's running. Or wait, did it? It's done. Oh, yeah, because that's not ready. Uh, Okay, so one thing I was trying to... I want to get this guy... Here, we'll figure it out once we get this. Once we get the Optum going, I'm going to go... So, that fertilizer spreader has fertilizer in it. I, I think somebody put it in it that... I, It was a miscommunication. Uh, I told them to put it in lime. They put in fertilizer. So, I don't know how to get it out without just... I don't think anything is ready for fertilizer right now. Because uh, anything that we plant just isn't ready for its second stage. Unfortunately... Yeah, that's, uh, okay, so let's look here, and pick up right here. There we go, start her up, and then we'll start taking her on this side here. There we are. Beautiful. All right, she's good here, fold her up. Yeah, how do I do this? I... I have no idea how uh, should I just start fertilizing it's still gonna take forever though can I just uh... no I don't. that's still yeah like I said that's gonna take forever what is the planner doing not sure what are you doing buddy I think he thinks that he can't make the turn or something. I don't know why the planner turned around like that. All right, let's go throw this around. I'm going to finish up the last lap. So I think, guys, I'm just going to unload that in the field. A little unrealistic. That's my B, but uh, you can't win them all. Let's go ahead and lower this guy down. There we go. So, yeah, I don't know what to do with that, unfortunately. But there's nothing we can really do. What I, yeah, what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to just unload it, like, in the middle of the field. Then go fill up with our handy-dandy new lime station fillers. Here, can I just hire this out? I don't want to. All right, there we go. Oh, that is awesome. That is so cool how that works. I had no idea. That is actually something that is really cool. I had no idea that that was the case and it just unloaded in an awesome line like that wow i is that is here you guys watching you might some people might know this i've never tried that before is that new to fs19 did i just find something i guess i'm sure other people know about it but for me first time i had no idea that that it was possible when you press i to unload i thought it would just un like unload it all on the floor and it'd be a big old mess but i mean it still kind of is a mess but it's much more easier to clean and stuff so let me know uh, have, has anybody ever seen that or was it around forever i have no idea there's a lot of things to farm somewhere that like if nobody has ever done pigs they have no idea like little things about pigs and stuff so that's kind of why i mean i've never done lime i wonder if that or sorry that was fertilizer i guess that wasn't even unique to lime so maybe it was around uh a long time ago all right, guys, so we're going to go pick this up over here. Hopefully, we I should be able to get lime done today, especially with these new refill stations. It doesn't take a long time at all. So thank you all so much for watching today's episode. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, I will see you guys in the comment section. Thank you all so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the like button. Very much appreciated. Helper F is done. He gets to go home. Awesome, but I don't. That's unfortunate. So let's get back to work, boys, and I'll see you all in the next one.